Hi, this is Aaron, and today we're going to review the HTC Surround. Now, this is one of the first offerings from AT&T for Windows Phone 7. And there are others coming out later, but out of AT&T's selection, this is one of three at this point. Now, this phone is a 1 gigahertz, or has a 1 gigahertz processor, has a 5 megapixel camera with flash. Here's your speaker. There's some other speakers as well. USB port or micro USB port on the bottom. On this side there's nothing. On this side we have our camera or camera button. Volume rocker. On the front we have some touch buttons. So that's Windows, search, back. Then we have our earpiece when you want to listen to calls. 3.5 millimeter headphone jack, noise canceling mic, and we have our sleep wake button. This also has a slide open speaker and we'll talk more about that in a moment. On the back, we also have a kickstand for watching movies or whatever we want to use it for. I actually find that very nice, really helpful, and it's great for music, too. And um, that's pretty much it, other than memory, which it has 16 gigabytes of internal storage, which is not expandable. The battery is a, a little bit small. It is a 1230 milliamp hour battery, which... HTC says is good for four hours of talk time and 275 hours of standby time. The back is removable and the battery is replaceable. Let's pop that off quick to show you. Kind of pops off. There we go. And there's your SIM card. I actually have a micro SIM inside of a SIM card I cut out. There we go. Uh, to make it fit because I usually use an iPhone 4. There's your battery and your camera. So that's nice, but like I said, not placeable memory at this time. Not in this phone, anyway. But I don't find that to be a problem, since it uses a lot of streaming services. So, that's the phone itself. Let's go ahead and turn it on. Now, I'm not going to go into the OS too much at all, other than this, the specifics to this phone. But <clears throat> Windows Phone 7 is quite nice, and I've actually been using this for a week straight in place of my iPhone. Now, I've had an iPhone for quite some time, about four years. I'm on the fourth generation iPhone and I started with the first gen and I've, that's been my sole phone for quite a few years now and while there are some features that Windows Phone doesn't have yet because of its first gen, I really didn't find myself having to go back to iPhone. I struggled with actually wanting to go back because I like a lot of the features on this phone but I'll do a comparison another time but Overall, I was pretty impressed. So let's go over the features this phone has. Very responsive. You saw it booted up pretty quickly. Um, all Windows Phone 7 phones must have a gigahertz processor, 5 megapixel camera, a camera button, and like the volume rockers and a 3.5 millimeter headphone jack. HTC has decided to add the speaker bar, which is Adobe Digital SRS, and is actually pretty good. Now I know a lot of other reviewers may find it pointless, so what I did is ask other people, what do you think about this? I even told them about the, H or the uh, Samsung Focus, which has the Super AMOLED screen, and the people that uh, had seen this actually said they would prefer this. Now most of them were teenagers, a few of them were in their 20s, but most said they prefer this speaker bar because they listen to a lot of music and watch video on their phone. And I would have to say that I agree with them. You have some different modes for wide and stereo and narrow. And um, personally, I think it's really good. I was going to switch to the Focus, but honestly, I really like the speaker bar. Some people may not, and if you're not focused on audio or, or video, this probably won't matter to you. But to me, I thought it was a great thing. When it's closed, it is muffled, and sound does come out of there at times, but it's not bad at all. Let's go ahead and show you how the responsiveness is good. Now, it's Windows Phone 7. If you want to see the operating system itself, I have another video you can check out. But let's go over and show you the app it comes with, which is HTC Hub. <clears throat> it's kind of like HTC Sense. Uh, it doesn't really do a whole lot, honestly. It takes a moment to load. Now, Windows Phone 7 does not have multitasking yet, which is kind of a, a pain, but... You know, this is really all you've got there. You know, it shows it's snowing. It's showing a couple different areas, what the temperature is around here. Nice little animation, but not something I would want on my phone all the time. Phone speed is very good. 
and uh, screen resolution is nice. And the screen is a 3.8 inch screen and runs at 480 by 800 pixels. It's a really nice size. The clarity is good. The viewing angle is quite nice. I know it's a little bit tough on a camera, but I mean, viewing angles uh, is pretty good on this screen. And responsiveness is great as it's a capacitive touch screen. Now, the camera on the phone is, is pretty nice. It's a 5 megapixel camera that records in 720p video. Uh, it's pretty good for a camera. Like I said, the colors are, are, are tr pretty true, uh, but some things do seem washed out. I believe the Focus does have a better camera, and I know some of the European uh, phones that came out with Windows Phone 7 have nicer cameras. But overall, I think you'd be pretty happy, especially if you don't have a 5 megapixel camera on your current cell phone. I don't think if you had anything to compare it with, you'd be disappointed. It is not, it's not as good as an iPhone 4 or, say, a Droid X, uh, but it's, it's plenty good for the majority of people that are going to use it. It takes really quick pictures, has nice video quality, and uh, overall I think you'd be pretty pleased with it if this was the phone of uh, your choice. So other than that, uh, let's talk a little bit about battery life. Battery life on this phone, the battery, like I mentioned, is a little bit small, but I do find I can get through a good 12-hour day without recharging it. The first few days of playing around with this a lot actually drain the battery pretty quick, especially when using Xbox Live. Uh, the battery just is not up to par to handle that for a long period of time. And I can't imagine that most phones are. Even iPhone 4 and, and Android phones will drain quickly if you're heavily playing games. But uh, to give you an example, I have four email boxes this is checking. Google Mail checks every 15 minutes. Hotmail is kind of uh, on the fly as mail comes in. My Zolotech account actually checks every hour, and you can set those individually, which is kind of nice. And I do have one other email address in here that checks uh, every one or two hours. Even with that, and occasionally browsing the web, making a couple calls, updating Facebook, that sort of thing, um, listening to music, and maybe playing a game, I still get a good 10 to 12 hours out of it. The really the only time you're going to need to plug it in sooner than that is if you're playing heavily on games, like I said. Uh, but I do listen to music a lot, maybe watch a couple of videos, take some pictures, and um, overall I think this is a really nice phone. It is a little under a half a pound. It's, I think it's about 5.8 ounces if I remember correctly. Um, and it's a little bit bulky because of that slide out speaker. Here's an iPhone 4 to kind of compare without a case though. So you can see thickness wise it is a little bit thicker but it does feel more substantial in your hand and feels feels good and is a little grippy it doesn't feel I mean I, you're not gonna f drop it as easily because this is kind of a, a rubbery surface and, and it feels good and solid in your hand unlike um, say a new iPhone 4 or some of the other more plasticky phones I think most people that choose this type of phone are going to be more towards the gaming aspect uh, but let me go into one bad thing I had to have to say about the phone is I had it for a day. Now, I bought this outright. This is not a review unit. Uh, I did buy it outright. However, Microsoft did tell me I could review it um, and just did not have the phones to send. So I bought one outright. And a day after I had it, I plugged this in via micro USB and it would not charge. It sort of, it sort of recognized and if I wiggled it, it would charge. But if I left it, I left it plugged in overnight. The first night, it wasn't charged in the morning, even though the charge thing was on. It had a bad contact in here somewhere, and I don't know if the USB came loose, but generally I'm pretty gentle with these phones. And uh, this just didn't charge. So what I did is I went to AT&T, and they actually swapped it right out, no questions asked. Uh, didn't tell them I was a reviewer or anything till after all that was done, because I wanted to see what kind of experience you'd get. You know, I'm used to an Apple experience, walk into the Apple store, and they, that's the service right there. I want to see how AT&T was, and I have to say I'm very impressed with their service. They just didn't even hesitate. They said, you have a year warranty? Here you go. So props to them for helping me out so easily and so quickly. I really appreciated that. But uh, overall... Windows Phone 7 is, is really awesome, I think. It's a really great operating system. And um, I'll go into that with a comparison with the iPhone later. But the phone overall is very good. Um, screen is great. It's glass. Phone is solid. And battery life is decent. That's probably leaves something to be desired. 
Uh, but overall, I think it'd be a great purchase, especially if you listen to music a lot and you like iPod docks or something like that. This really takes the place of it and goes pretty loud. The volume's quite nice on it. Um, if you have any questions, though, feel free to ask. Thanks for subscribing and commenting. I appreciate it. This is Aaron. I'll see you next time.